Well, a very buddy, this is Stranger Gamer back for another match in my tournament. And in this clash, we have the end of the Metro squaring off against Spitfire. Well, let's crack on with it. And in the red corner for Ender, we have Uteraptor, of course. The Blender type. Boasting a moveset of Dino Illusion, Sonic Blast, and Light Recovery. <laughs> I'm backing up the Eurocephalus. No, not the Eurocephalus. We have Eurocephalus. Revival type. Both in the moveset of Sand Trap, Earth Barrier, and Crystal Crusher. Quite interesting indeed. But will it be enough to stop Spitfire? As in the blue corner, we have the Parasaurolophus. Defense type. Both in the moveset of Egg Attack, Neck Crusher, and Kamikaze Tackle. Quite, a, quite an attack-minded moveset here, with a lot of power and strength. And backing up Parasaurolophus, we have the Edmontonia. Crisis type, both in the moveset of Stomping Hammer, Atomic Bomb, and Mole Attack. Again, another strong attack-minded moveset here. But will it be enough to speak Ender? Let's find out. Although, the Uteraptor will have the type advantage here. Well, it could it come in handy. Six. Oh, a good start from Spitfire. The Parasaurolophus gets off an egg attack. Splat, 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 splat. And do you have a decent amount of damage, even though Uteraptor has the type advantage? Ooh, the Parasaurolophus gets another hit off. Yeah. It's a Kamikaze tackle. Not looking good for Ender. Oosh. The Uteraptor's taken a beating so far. Ooh, we have a tie. Uteraptor holding on here. And the Uteraptor's going down. As another egg attack activates. Wow, is Ender actually going to get a hit in this match? A dominant start from Spitfire. Dispatching the Uteraptor with relative ease. And you get a cheeky little hit on the Octocephalus as well. For good measure. Well, can you Octocephalus pull this back? Oh, he gets, his he gets the first hit off. But the type advantage. Look at that damage. <laughs> I think Ender's gonna lose. The type advantage is not gonna help Ender at all. Although a crit might. Wow, what a beautiful amount of damage. Well, the Earth Barrier is definitely gonna help out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, we have a tie. Ooh, the Sand Trap is activated! You want the Cephalus turning this around, but the Parasaurolophus with a type advantage barely taking any damage. Although it should take a bit from this. Yeah, wow, it actually took more damage from, the act from that than the actual attacks. And yet they'll lower its defense in a tie. Oh, he's getting another head off! Wow, it's your the Cephalus is putting up a fight! But look at that, the Parasaurolophus. Not looking good. Oh, this going to swap out as well, so he's going to heal all that health back. <laughs> as the Neck Crusher is activated. But remember, Earth Barrier is in effect, so the Eurocephalus takes very little damage, and the Crystal Crusher activates as Edmontonia comes in. Oh, Eurocephalus gets the hit. And the Crystal Crusher is no longer in play. Oh, Eurocephalus is getting another hit. He needs to kill this Edmontonia as fast as possible before that Parasaurolophus heals too much health. 
as the Earth Barrier activates. Right, we've got to give Ender's dues here. Put up a really good fight. As the Agmontonia gets a hit, it's a stomping hammer. But remember, Earth Barrier in effect, so it won't do much damage. Boosh. And um, what about the... Oh yeah, Earth Barrier. And the Crystal Crusher activates. Eurocephalus gets another hit off. It's a battle of attrition. Oh, well, the Edmontonia is dead. And Eurocephalus will get a free hit on the para. I mean, it should do a sizable amount of damage. Yeah. Well, what a turnaround from the Eurocephalus. What a comeback from Ender. After a storming start from Spitfire. Oh, look at that time, raging a tie. Oh, it could be all for nothing. The Parasaurus gets the Kamikaze tackle. Wow, well, this has been a really good match. The Crystal Crusher activates. What a tense match. It all comes down to this. Oh, I feel bad for Ender. The Dinosaurolophus finishes him off with a neck crusher. And a valiant fight from Eurocephalus, but Spitfire takes the win. But it's not all doom and gloom for Ender, as he will get a losing bonus point, which could be crucial in qualifying from the group stage. So I hope you enjoyed this match, and I'll see you next time.